Okay, so they finally picked the tagline that I can actually agree with. I did not see any of this coming. At all? At all. Ah, well, this is what had happened for SummerSlam weekend. Let's go. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spotty Minutes, AKA D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to What Had Happened Was, our little pay-per-view wrestling recap show for the channel. We got a lot to talk about when it comes to this past weekend, but before we get started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon so we got new uh, videos for you every daggone day, ranging from wrestling to movies to mood music. To, to video games, to whatever. Uh, also, like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful now. Let's get it going. This was an action-packed, filled weekend that has left me exhausted. Yeah, very exhausted. Very daggone exhausted. I want to sleep for like two or three days right about now. Me too. But we had a lot of wrestling, a lot yes. of surprisingly good wrestling. This It's yes. very rare that, that whenever there is an NXT and a WWE pay-per-view on uh, adjacent days that like I feel like I get the best of both worlds because mm -hmm. usually NXT vastly outperforms uh, WWE when it comes to it. Maybe it has yeah. something to do with the crowd because the crowd does have an, uh, an effect on uh, how live these events feel. Mm -hmm. uh, but like in this particular one, SummerSlam actually did a really damn good job and so did NXT. I have no real major complaints uh, with, with what happened this weekend. Do you? No. Okay. Not at all. So let's, so let's jump right into it. Okay. Let's, let's talk real quick about uh, NXT TakeOver 30. Okay. The 30th uh, NXT TakeOver. We'll start with that. 30, 30. 30, 30. 30, 30. Fine, you don't have to join it. I won't. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, let's start with NXT 30. Uh, for NXT 30, we had really five five matches on the main card. Yes. One uh, we thought was going to be on the main card, but it turned out to be on the pre-show. Yeah. Uh, that was a triple threat, a number one contenders match for the NXT Tag Team Champions. Yeah, I hate they put that on the pre-show. They'll, they'll probably put it on, like, you know, uh, next... NXT, uh, they'll they'll put the match on because uh, it looks like it, it, it on paper it was probably a very damn good match. Okay. Uh, so I'm not gonna sit down and spoil it just because it might end yeah. up on uh, WWE TV a little bit later, and I, I, I actually want to watch it myself. Yeah. Yeah. But we had five really daggone good matches on NXT Takeover. We started this off. Uh, well, we didn't start off because I can't remember. I actually can't remember the order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we had the uh, NXT United. Uh, North America, almost the United States, North American Championship, that five man ladder match with Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, uh, Johnny Gargano, uh, uh, Cameron Grimes, and Velveteen Green. Yes. It was absolute pure chaos. I it was. Honestly, love it. I don't even know what the hell was happening. That's that's when it's the most fun. <laughs> yeah. Now, that is when it's the most fun. Like when, when everybody is just throwing themselves at everybody, and they yeah. throw themselves at everybody. Oh god, everybody died at yes. least three times. At least three times during this it's match. Like, I know Velveteen Dream is probably still dead right now. Yeah, right. probably. He threw himself into the stands. Yeah. Uh, but we ended up getting a new uh, NXT champion. No two-time champion winners. Mm -hmm. We got no. our boy Damian Priest. Yeah. And I bet you I ain't gonna forget his name now. <laughs> Damian ah. Priest. Say it again, Damian Priest as the new. I think we picked him, didn't we? Or yeah, I think we. No, him? no, no. I I picked Gargano, Grimes, and then my wild card was Velveteen because I thought that Bronson Reed and Damian <coughs> Priest were going to end up having a long. Oh team right. Outside yeah, of that, yeah, so okay. I never picked him. I don't think you picked him. No, either. I didn't. Uh, so kudos to Damian Priest. He yeah. is the new. NXT North, North American, American Champion. champion. Yeah. Uh, we also had Finn Balor versus uh, Thatcher on this match, and this is probably low-key one of my favorite matches on the card. Oh my god, yeah. I love my flippy dudes, but I also love, like, you know, a lot of nice submission holds and everything, and, yeah. like, ring psychology, and they really threw that at you, some hard-hitting, some nice holds here and there. Yeah. And, like... Finn really got in his head, though. Oh, yes, he did. Woo! But, like, Thatcher could have easily easy one like I, yeah. I want to see more of this I yeah, want to see like a, a best out of five this. or yeah. seven series 
with these two. Yeah. Uh, but Finn Balor gets the win uh, out of this one. Uh, then we had Io Shirai going up against Dakota Kai. Probably Dakota Kai's best match. If not the best match, the second best only. Yeah. Uh, sec second only to the match she had with Tegan Knox. But mm -hmm. this was a really great match. It really was. Uh, you, can, you could tell that uh, Dakota Kai stepped up from wrestling. She stepped up her game. From where it was. And she definitely had to with Io Shirai. Oh, yeah. Because Io Shirai is a beast. In now, the ring. now, I have a question for y'all out there. What is it with referees where it's like, okay, you just got kicked in the face and knocked out for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So like the very second you feel somebody grab you by your waist and yeah. throw you on the ground towards a pin, the first thing you do is like, oh, there's a pin, must count. Yeah. One, two, three. It's like, no, get your bearings right. Like right. you got kicked, you got knocked the frick out. Assess that. Yeah, I know. Acknowledge that. No, it's like, no, no there's a pin. Up. Yep. He's like, he gets up. I got one job and one job only. I must, that is I must count the pin. But that was a really good match. Uh, Rhea was. Ripley shows up. Uh, she's most likely going to be involved with Io Shirai, Dakota Kai, and uh, I can never remember her name. She was the cowgirl. I know. I know. Yeah, her uh, Dakota Kai's entourage. Yeah. I, I suck at names, okay, people? You, you should know this by now. I'm horrible with names, but all four of them are going to be involved, and, I, and I'm like, that right can't now. wait. Can't wait. Uh, we followed up with uh, Pat McAfee and Adam Cole, their match, which was the sleeper match of the night. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't expecting much from the match, period. Not I mean, I liked, I liked the, uh, the, the build little, to it. Yeah, I liked the build to it. I just. I, I wasn't really interested. But yeah, this, the build to this was absolutely great and phenomenal. Yeah. And then I was dreading the match. I believe we said it on our little pre-show we that we, we were did. dreading this match. But no, like Pat McAfee actually threw himself into this. Like mm -hmm. he did some high flying stuff. Uh, he did uh, some over the top rope. Pretty sure he did like a toe bake on Hero. And like he was going off yeah. on this match. And I was not expecting it to be as, as well done as it was. Uh, but Adam Cole definitely go back and see this match. I, yeah. I like like this is this is, as I said it's low key one of the better matches uh, that just in terms of like how the build was set up and expect expectations which were already kind of low they vastly cleared it. So, yeah. Like this was a really good good match for uh, especially for a first timer. Uh, but like you know Adam Cole ends up getting it with the uh, the Panama Sunrise little flip. Yeah. Uh, I love that move. Uh, but he hit. He ends up hitting that and gets the win yeah. on his end. And uh, I'm hoping this feud continues because it's so I hard. Too, it's, it's pretty really good. good. Yeah. It's some really great mic work. Yeah, I, I really love it, that. It is. Now we have the big match of the night. Uh, the big, 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 big match of the night, which was Keith Lee versus Karrion Cross. Uh, now okay. this Ooh. is this is this is a hard one to talk about. Yeah. Uh, not just because of the results, but because. Uh, what, what ended up happening afterward or during the match. Yeah. But this was like a nice hard hitting match for like, I want to say a good 85% of this match. Yeah. I was like deep into it. And then it started feeling a little weird. And it turns out it's because Karrion Cross may have uh, separated his shoulder in it. Uh, we're yeah. still waiting on potential MRIs, but like that's, what's, that's what they're saying uh, is happening. He, oh, like, he got himself legit yeah. injured uh, in this match and it kind of, you kind of saw towards the end when the finish started looking a little bit weird. Yeah. Uh, but like in terms of like the story that was there, uh, Karrion Cross and Keith Lee, they worked perfectly together. Oh God, this was fun. This was incredibly this fun. This was fun. Uh, I think this is like one of the first times, no, nope, scratch that because Big E technically was a big, big man heel at the time. But like this is one of the first times I like, really got like a massive, a big dude heel, not, not, a, not a shit heel, but like yeah. a really big dude heel. Uh, take the title and hold it. And I hope he holds it for a while because it, it could end up being one of the more interesting stories in, in, for NXT for it a could. while. I, I, I hated Keith Lee lost, but when they played what's happening tonight and how he's going to show up at Raw, I was like, I get it now. Yeah, because yeah. like during SummerSlam, they put that little vignette yeah, on. Yeah, because I was like, no, he doesn't need to lose the title for what? Yeah. But then I saw that and I was like, Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, they they, they basically skyrocket. Yeah. Them. Like yeah. it's like okay, Keith Lee, you have the title. You yeah. maybe have like one or two defenses. Uh, you're done. 
just, 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 yeah, just, you can just come onto the main roster. Come on, you're just good. Come on. Uh, you're and good. That's basically what ended up happening. Yeah. Like, he lost to Kerry Cross, and he's up on the main roster. That's cool. And I'm, and I'm, I'm okay with that. But I'm, fine. I'm, I'm hoping that, that. that Kerry Cross uh, isn't like you know, me too because because he needs he needs a long run with that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he can he can do it. Yeah, definitely. But that's basically what happened at NXT 30. Then we turn around and talk about SummerSlam. SummerSlam. Woo. SummerSlam. Lord. Okay. Uh, I. Again, surprisingly good matches. I yeah. think I mainly only had like, I had like one match that was mediocre and then one match that based upon kayfabe and story doesn't make sense for yeah. what it was. And I'm gonna talk about that real quick. Uh, we have Apollo Crews versus MVP. Now the big thing about Apollo Crews versus MVP is MVP has been talking up a big game with his Hurt Business yeah. about how if you join me, you will no longer be in catering. If you join right. me, you'll be one of the bigger stars out there. If you join me, everybody will pay attention to you. And then they put this match on the pre-show. Yeah, that, I hate when they do that. You could that have put anything irritating. on the pre-show. You could have put Mandy Rose and so on. And so, on yeah, pre-show. that could have been a But like, show. based upon story, that was a bad decision. It was. This should not have been on the pre-show it, because it the whole not. point was, if you join me, you won't be on the pre-show. Right. And like that defeats, the the anyway, that defeats the whole purpose. That defeats the whole purpose. Yeah. But that was still a pretty good match. It's just, you know, narratively, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, we also have Oscar come up against Bailey, a really yeah. good match. Uh, really in my good opinion. match. Yeah. Uh, a lot of nice storytelling with Bailey. Yeah. Just like we predicted, Bailey was going to retain the yeah. championship. And it, and they did it. Uh, through the fact that like Sasha of course gets involved mm-hmm. and it works out best for Bailey because she just gets it on a roll up. Yeah, that's what yeah. Happens. She gets it on a roll up. Yeah. But it's okay because you know, a shit heel. Shit heel. Shit heel. Uh, she's a heel. She's yeah. doing a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then we had uh, the tag team match between uh, the Street Profits and Andrade and Angel Garza. That Another was good. really yeah. damn good match. I wish Bianca came out, but okay, I'll take it. Now, now the thing with that is, like, I did too. Yeah. But at a previous Raw, she was like, I stay out of my man's business. I gotcha. And it's like, I, I like gotcha. that, but at the same time. I want you out there. That too, but it's also the fact that, like, you straight up was willing to wreck people's shit yes. for drugging your man for drugging and your you husband. don't show up. Yeah. Come on. That, I, I needed, I needed, I needed Zelina to at least get one or two hair whips to the mid that, that was it. Just one That's or two. all I'm asking Just one or two. for. That's, but again, okay, very but good I, match. Yeah, it was. And was I understand, and I can appreciate that. Uh, Montez Ford is way too athletic for his own damn way I still don't know how athletic. he's able to put a spin on, on the frog frog splash. Or a frog splash, yeah. yeah. I have but no like, idea. Jesus either, but Christ. The oh, height he gets and the spin he gets and how controlled it is. Yeah. Like, I've seen people do like massive flips but then like over rotate here and there. Yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, you're athletic, but you're also out of control. So what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Like, no, he's so controlled with it. Like, I yeah. I hate this man. I, know. I love him, but, but I hate him. A perfect example of what you said with Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio's son, who is it, Dominique? Yeah. Yeah. That that was a perfect example to where he because he did it and it didn't work. Well, since you brought that up, let's go ahead and talk about yeah. that. Uh, so just like we said with Adam Cole and Pat McAfee, it was a surprisingly good match for what the yeah. build was. Uh, it was a great build, and it was a first-timer wrestler getting in the ring and, and the, on a big stage, and it surpassed expectation. Yeah. Same thing with Dominic and Seth Rollins. It was a pretty damn good build. I remember uh, people rumoring that Seth was really angling for this particular match, uh, but like for what it was, it was a really damn good match it with really some great stories. Uh, Dominic put on a pretty decent Oh, show. he held his own. He was, God. Dominic, I think what we said in our little Discord call was like, Dominic is one of those, is like one of those creative character wrestlers where you put all of your uh, points and currency into your gear, yes. but you still have the basic moveset. Yeah. And it kind of felt like that. It's like, it's a very yeah. basic moveset, but like, it's supposed to be. Right. It's supposed to be. Right. It's his first time. He's a, right. Through. It's his first time. He's a protege of his father. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to come out doing all type of bullshit no no you're not going to be able to do all that good stuff no uh, he, but previously before he came out he's like i don't want you to get involved in the match at yeah. all and ray was you know holding to this yeah. i'm not going to get involved you know he was basically very distracting with his louis vuitton ass uh mask on <laughs> like like the velvet ass mask like with the ipad sewn in i'm yeah. like yo ray 
I'm sorry, but like if if you don't if you better have like a formal mask for black tie affairs yeah. or something. Because yeah. like you can't be coming out looking that fly with your Louis Vuitton. Ty and shit. Bath, even, yeah. his, even his wife came out with a Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Oh yeah. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, but that was good badge. Uh Seth being second part. the Messiah. Oh yeah. Well, good God. Oh yeah, Seth was great as as the heel that you hated. Yes. For this one. And I said that. Like you 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 will you will end up wanting Dominic to want to win, and yeah. Seth will end up being like, no, nah, I'm gonna dash the hopes away. Yeah. Uh, but moving forward, Dominic, bruh, put a zipper on the hood or buttons or quick release yeah, or something. That was a because throughout like the first three <laughs> minutes of the match, every time he did a move, he's like, it's like, no, <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> or or leave it or leave it backstage. It. Yeah. One or the other. Make it an actual mask or cut it off. One yeah. of the one of the two. Okay, but again, really good match. Really I, good I, match. Really, I really did yeah. like that. Of um, course, Seth wins. Of course, Seth does end up winning. Um, the next match we had for this was uh, Oscar. It was Oscar and versus Sasha. Sasha. Oscar versus Sasha. Again, another great match. Great another great Zelda. match. I'm a little disappointed as to how it ended, though. Honestly, I'm not. I well, I when I say disappointed as how it ended, I meant I didn't really want Sasha to submit. I wanted her to kind of eat the pin. Okay. But not submit. So, so in a way, like, because Sasha submitted, it's a very definitive, I definitely lost versus I just got, you know, yeah. sort of, sort of eat that over Yeah, yeah, kind of and I'm pretty sure it's something with that, but I would have preferred her to eat the pin instead of submitting. Yeah, it's weird because like to me, as I was watching it live, I didn't think she actually submitted. I thought the ref called it because yeah, like, all I did. saw was her arm going like this yeah. and not actually tapping yeah, or tapping I her hand. Yeah, I thought the same thing. But... So like, I was like, okay, so the ref must have just called it, saw that she's not going to give up. She, maybe maybe I saw it wrong. Maybe I didn't see, didn't see it wrong. Who I'm knows? We'll find sure. out we'll on find Raw. Out tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on Raw tonight, but yeah, uh, another really good match uh, because they they end up trying to make a parallel to the previous match with Bailey, yeah. uh, where she went for uh, her little hip check on the ropes, and uh, both Sasha and Bailey avoided. But instead of Sasha being able to capitalize on it, Bailey makes uh, I mean Oscar makes Bailey you know eat a fist, mm -hmm. and Sasha gets rolled around because like there was some nice transitions yeah, in this was. for trying to get. It was trying to get some, uh, either one of their submissions and it actually absolutely worked perfectly but like uh for a good minute sasha was in that uh that oscar lock yeah that's why I, that's why i thought he called for a stoppage because like she yeah. wasn't able to get out of it she wasn't able to eat inch towards the ropes and she wasn't tapping so yeah. that's why i kept yeah. thinking like oh they must have just called the match but we'll find out what happens we'll find uh, out tonight, uh, yeah. Yeah. uh we follow it up with uh randy orton versus okay. drew mcintyre for the wwe championship again Another pretty damn good match. Very damn good Whenever match. Whenever Randy is interested, he's it, good. You can yeah. definitely tell he's interested, and yeah. it shows in the work that he does. Uh, and also, Drew needed a match like this. Somebody yeah. with, you know, somebody a who threat. is a threat. Yeah, and Randy is a threat. Randy is a threat, exactly. Because like Dolph Ziggler, as much as I, as I said, I, as yeah. much as I did like that extreme rule stipulation that he yeah. did and how good of a heel he was, I never considered him a threat to the title. Yeah. Randy, I kind of consider a threat to the title. Yeah. And it showed because like they each had each other's number. There was a nice little sequence where like um, where Drew was setting up for the Claymore kick and he absolutely whiffs on it yeah. and gets up. Randy goes for the RKO, but instead he gets caught with the backslide. Yeah. I know a lot of people are not going to like the fact that it was, again, not a definitive, hey, finish your pin mm -hmm. kind of situation or even a submission situation where he just gets him on the backslide. But, like, to me, that works perfectly because, again, Randy is a threat. So you yeah. take whatever opportunity you, you can, can get. can to retain your title, your yes. championship. Yeah. And it also makes it... makes. The, the feud continue on. It does. Because like, if does. he hit that claymore and pin them one, two, three, okay, then it's what's then next. Then what's, what's next? But like, Him doing backslide. that backslide, it's like, okay, no, you cheated. That's not right. I'm still coming for you. Well, it's not much of a cheat, but you are right. You that's that, I mean? that's, how, yeah. he was, that's yeah. how he will frame the shit. Right, that's he what I'm saying. He will definitely frame it like that. Yeah, you're a heel. So when, yeah, to me, you cheated. You didn't you, beat me the no, way you're supposed to beat you, me. I didn't submit. I didn't eat the pin. You did a freaking backslide, and that's how you won to keep your title. No, I want to go again. There you go. 
So I'm with that. But uh, we, we hope to see more with that. Because again, the build up to this was great. Let's see what yeah. they do moving forward. Because so far, I'm in. I'm all in. I'm, I'm all in. I am this. too, but we'll, again, we'll find out tonight. Oh, we forgot all about the Mandy Rose Sonya Deville match. No, well, yeah, yeah but we, we, we kind of didn't talk about it. Slide that in there. Yeah, the, uh, let's, let's slide that in there. Mm, this was this kind is... of a disappointment. Yeah. Okay, good. so like the build up to this was, was slow burning, kind of, sort of. Because like we had a build, but like I didn't really care about it. Or that's one of the bigger issues. But like when it came, when it became a hair versus hair match, I was interested. Yeah, I Incredibly was Incredibly interested. Like, yeah. yo, this is actually pretty dope. And then but then they changed change the change stipulation it. again yeah. to a, a loser leaves the ooh, WWE. Wow, hiccups. Sorry about that. A loser leaves WWE match, which is a whack stipulation for yeah. these two. Yeah. Hair versus hair, I that was would, absolutely yeah. on board with because it would continue forward. Yeah. Either Sonya Deville is going to be having <laughs> short hair or a, a risk of Mandy Rose losing her hair. And it actually, you know, would have mattered. But when it became loser, uh, loser leaves WWE, I shrugged my shoulders. And then this, the uh, the execution of this match was kind of whack too. Like, You're like man, it, it was like Mandy was struggling. She was struggling she was, to she set was up kind the of table. Struggling. She was struggling to throw chairs. Like, I was just... I was uh, just cringing, like, oh, okay, maybe we should just stop with the clocks. Yeah, I, I really, Let's like, if, if, you're, if you're gonna go, like, full-on hardcore, okay, you got chairs <laughs> and tables, but that's, like, Babby's first hardcore match. Yeah. Pull out the kendo sticks. Bring a stop sign. Yeah. Like, you gotta leave the company yeah. if you lose, and the only thing that you can do is, like, I'm gonna set the chair. Yeah. I'm gonna and set that's not, that nobody goes through. Yeah. So, but, yeah, Mandy wins. The, that was the lone disappointing match yeah, of the very, night uh, for this one. Everything yeah. else I, I, I actually was liking yeah. or incredibly liked. And it was a short match. Too. It was a short match. That's, what, that's what made me even more disappointed in the match. I was, was like, that's, that's, like, like if, if, you were, if you were going to yeah. go with like, hey, you lose your job yeah. if you lose this match. It, it, it just really made me. I didn't it was feel like, the fire. Yeah, it was like Sonya didn't really get to show her talent. Yeah, because I like Sonya. Because really Sonya like can Sonya. wrestle her ass off. I really like Sonya, and, yeah. and I was very disappointed in this match. But again, that was a lone, for, for me to say that was a lone disappointing, disappointing match, it tells you how good this card was. Yeah. Uh, our final match of the night was the Universal title. A really damn good hoss fight between Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. Yeah, again, I was disappointed again. Yeah, the ending was kind of weird. Everything else yeah. leading up to the ending was was great. Like yeah. they're they're breaking tables, and oh, yeah. they, busting I through mean, barricades, and yeah. it was like they were just like it was a knockdown drag out fight. I yeah. kind of like if you want to do a false count anywhere match, I kind of wish they went past Gorilla and like went I, I kinda further did backstage. Too. But, but like, they, they probably did because it was a Thunderdome and everybody was. Yeah, and that's probably why they couldn't do that. They they they, they wanted to keep showcasing the Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, like they they're throwing themselves up and down all across the. Uh, yeah. the arena and I, I'm loving it and then out of nowhere uh, Braun Strowman pulls out a box cutter which I was fearful of because I was like man no, I, I know how scary it, yeah, yeah I was like, but I still I was like ah, things can go wrong with that yeah. but he, he's like using a box cutter yeah. he's cutting uh, the mat and I'm like we're like there's easier you could cut the strings and pull the mat but there's easier ways to do that than just cutting the mat. Well, but whatever. You do that, yeah. He's cutting the mat. He's trying to get him set up because he's hitting him with like power slam after power slam yeah. after power slam, and, and he's of not course dying the fiend, he's the, fiend. The, the fiend eats every freaking move. And he's like, "No, I'm not going." Yeah. And he tries to do it again on the bare uh, mat without the mat uh, on the on the wooden slats, and. Bray Wyatt manages to reverse it, hits him with like three Sister Abigails yeah. on the bare bare wood, and gets the pin. And like I didn't hate it, but like I felt like if you were going to do that, you might as well go the route of like Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, where it's just like it feels like oh this is carnage incarnate versus just like okay this is this is going to be the finish. Yeah, uh, and it kind of limps towards the finish. So yeah. it, again, the match wasn't bad, but like the ending was kind of a dud. Yeah. But Here's where oh God, things yeah. go yeah. off. Yeah. Here's where oh my God. things go crazy. I think we were hooting and hollering in the Discord call, in the house. So Woo. so on our call, we were like a good 10 seconds early. Everybody else is on, is on like their own feeds and like we're a little bit earlier than they are. Yeah. 
And out of nowhere, we're like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. We're going to move on. The champion. We the we're going to move on. And then out of nowhere, this dude in black spears the frick out of the fiend. I thought it was Jimmy. Because I'm like, oh, is that Jimmy? Is he back? <laughs> okay, I'm cool with that. I, I didn't know who he was immediately. I just saw the curly hair flying around. I'm just like, is that Jimmy? Is he back? It He's took, not injured? It took until he stood up. And I'm like, holy crap. That's Roman Reigns! I'm like, he can't be here! He cannot be here! What is he doing? He's like, are, didn't you just get on with leukemia? Right! You're supposed to be off to the side for a little longer? Right! I was, I, we were talking about how much we missed you. Yeah! But I'm like, yo, we understand, you know, it's COVID. Yeah! You, know, you gotta stay off to the side and all that good stuff. You, you gotta, you gotta, hey, you gotta handle your stuff during the current events yeah. and all that good stuff. But like, no, he's like, I'm back, bitch! Yep. He spears the fiend, beats him down, runs outside. He looks so like this. This is what got us super excited. He didn't just spear the fiend and go like, "Oh, it's my house, my yard." No, he's like, no, he's like, I'm. Everybody can get it. Yeah, everybody can get it. Everybody is going to get it. Because he spears the hell out of Braun, out of Braun, and beats him up. Wearing his shirt is what does his shirt say? So, uh, wreck everything and leave everyone standing yeah, or something like, like that. Wreck everything and leave. Yeah. Something like that. And I'm like, yo, he's doing that. Yeah. Hops back in the ring. Those spears are the, were the most uh, beautiful spears I, mean, I have Christ. seen in some time. Roman is looking good. Oh, yeah. Bruh, don't put on a vest. Do not wrestle you don't in a vest. You look at the way you looked here. Never wrestle again in a vest. My God. Okay, well, from down. I don't care. From down. Get rid of the vest. Okay, so from down. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened yeah. during SummerSlam. The whole weekend. Well, let's just go ahead and grade this whole weekend. I... Like, what do you, on a letter grade. On, when it comes to your, your school child letter grade. I, I what do you give it? give it a B plus. You know what? I'm with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly with that. This, is, this yeah. is a nice B plus. We didn't have too many disappointing things. No, just, uh, a few, just, just a couple nothing hiccups to here and there. For my experience. Yeah. But anyway, I, I like to tell us what y'all thought, though, about this whole SummerSlam weekend, NXT 30 and SummerSlam, down in the comments below, because again, we'd like to hear from you. Do you uh, give us your own letter grade? What was your match of the weekend, or even just match of the night uh, that we happened, uh, that we had uh, happen right there? And also, head on over. Ooh, to Patreon. I'm having trouble right now. Yeah, I see. Head on over to patreon.com slash yokaiju. Yes. Where you can get some updates on the site, the story, and the channel. Also get some exclusive swag, exclusive shows. Participate in polls and help shape this channel in any way you see fit. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you once again for watching. And we'll have to catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.